This is the Florida Fighting Conch, or Strombus alatus, and it's a member of my favorite saltwater snail family, the Strombidae. And it can be found washed up on the beaches in Florida, although it usually inhabits deeper water offshore. Strombus will move around differently than most snails because it has a thin foot which is more suitable for lunging or hopping forward instead of crawling around like other snails. It's also unable to stick to surfaces and climb around, so it's usually restricted to sitting on the sand bed. It's an herbivore, and it will eat algae or seaweed in contrast to the large number of carnivorous sea snails that are found in Florida. And here you can see it's sticking out its foot, and it just kind of will turn itself around like that and hop forward across the sand instead of crawling. And the location of this snail's eyes is also not typical of sea snails because you might be able to see they've got the two eye spots on the very tips of the tentacles like a land snail instead of closer to the base of the head like other sea snails. And their shell also has those two special grooves towards the front of it which allow the eyes to pop out while the rest of the body is shielded. I also wanted to mention that these snails have a mouth at the end of an elongated structure called a proboscis. And it's pretty obvious, you can see it extending out from underneath the shell and it'll search around the bottom of the sand bed for food like algae and seaweed, rasp at it with its tooth-filled tongue, and then it can retract that proboscis back underneath its shell. And then in a few seconds I'm going to give you a side view of that mouth. And another interesting thing about these snails is that they're either male or female, unlike a lot of other snails, which are hermaphrodites. So if you find one of these at the beach, you can look inside of its shell and see its genitals on the side of its body, and you can pretty easily determine if you have a male snail or a female snail.